Oh, wait, we're on already. Question four. Um, find the exact value of this integral, giving your answer in the form a l m t plus b, where a and b are constant. Found. Right. We're looking for an exact form. It's um, it's two things multiplied together, but they're not related to each other in a differentiation sense. So it's got to be integration by parts. The thing that we know about integration by parts is that when we we, we don't know how to which way around is it? We don't know how to integrate an x, but we do know how to differentiate it. So that's the crucial thing. That's the one that we're going to set up. Uh, remember the, the integration by parts formula, u dv by dx is u times v minus the integral of v dv by dx. dx. So we're going to set up, um, in this case, the thing that we are going to differentiate is ln x because we know how to differentiate that. That goes to 1 over x. And the thing we're going to integrate, oh, the dv by dx bit, it's a slightly odd way around to do this in this question, but that is 1 over x to the power of the third, 1 over cube root of x, which is x to the minus a third. So if we integrate that, add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, if we divide by 2 thirds, that's multiplying by 3 over 2. <coughs> so that's where we get to. It's important to set that up that way. Remember, you're always aiming for the thing that you differentiate to get simpler, and the thing you integrate to not get much worse, unless ln x is one of the things, and you always differentiate ln x. So that's why we put that in there. Right, so put it together. Our integral is u times v, that's that times that one, 3 over 2 ln x times, why am I writing it in this order, times x to the 2 thirds, anyway, that's okay, between 1 and 8, take away the integral of v du by dx, which is 3 over 2 x to the 2 thirds times 1 over x dx. I'm going to save my working out my limits for a little bit, but I'm going to write it more sensibly because I don't know why I wrote it that way. Around. Now, this integral, I haven't done it yet, but this integral, notice we've got x to the two thirds divide, uh, divided by x. So that's actually just 3 over 2 x to the minus a third, isn't it? Because if we, um, that's x to the 1, we subtract the powers, 2 thirds take away 1 gives us minus a third. Now we can integrate 3 over 2 x to the 2 thirds ln x. Um, now what's this going to give us then? So now again we're going to integrate this by adding 1 to the power and dividing by the new power. Okay, am I alright to do this in all, all in one go? Or, no, I'll write um, So we're dividing by the new power like that. That looks a bit horrible but we'll work it out in a second. 3 over 2, x to the 2 thirds, ln x. And this is 3 over 2 divided by 2 thirds, so that's times 3 over 2, which gives us 9 over 4, x to the 2 thirds, between 1 and 8. Again, most of the marks in the question, what was it in this one? 5 more. Which question are we looking at? There was five marks, it was five marks. And we've got, at this point, three out of the five marks again. Uh, and again, the marks are dependent for the rest of it, so we have to have got that far. Now we sum in the limits. Three over two, um, eight to the power of two thirds is four, times L and eight. Take away nine over four times four. Uh, and then we're subtracting what we get from put 1 into it. Well, natural log of 1 is 0. And then we've got take away the 9 and the 4 from that bit. And now we need to get it in the right format. The question did say A ln2 plus B. So we need it in terms of ln2. We've got um, that's that's 3 times 4 divided by 2 is going to be 6 
times ln 2 cubed. And then what have we got here? We've got 9, uh, minus 9, plus 9 over 4. So that's um, minus 36 over 4. So minus 27 over 4. And, and that was the answer. Is that the answer? That was the answer that they were looking for. Had to be in that format. And there we go. And that's integration maths.